why does he not say nigga in his in his rap songs? Um, the the more you um, put this gate around the word and, and act like only certain people can get inside this gate to say it, the more power you give to that word. Woo! I fucking man! Hold on. Oh, I'm offended. That's offensive. That's this and that. That's this and that. If it was so offensive, why would y'all say the word in general? Growing up, all my white friends said nigga. Every this is what America needs. Hey, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. Also, wait, 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 wait. Pause, pause. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Hey, make sure y'all go in the link description box below. Also, the very first pinned comment. Subscribe to your boy podcast channel, man. Go ahead, run up the podcast channel. It's doing, it, to me, it's doing good, all right? So go ahead, run it up, man. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. What's up, guys? Hope you're having a good day. I'm um, just sitting here in front of a gas station about to get some gas, but I wanted to do a quick one more yeet video for you guys uh because i know i got some new subscribers because of the couple yeet videos so i'm gonna give you guys one more this week and then i don't know if i'll do another one for a while but um i don't want to offend anybody here uh, i know this is kind of like it's i think a lot of people pretend that this is that it's a, a sensitive topic but in actuality to me it's not and i think people put on a persona online and pretend like they get offended about things when they really don't. But here's what I want to talk about. And feel free to, to chime in in the comments. Give me your thoughts on this. Why does Yeet and other rappers, white rappers too, not just Yeet, but in this video specifically Yeet, why does he not say nigga in his, in his rap songs? Um, a lot of like if you listen, bro, he said it so bluntly though. I mean, like he just said it so bluntly. Why don't yeet? Okay, listen, listen to me carefully. Why don't yeet? Just say nigga. I mean, I, I, I would expect him to say the n word or the 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 naga or something like the iga. But the, he just said it so bluntly. He really don't care. Oh man, <laughs> watch your back, bro. Just watch your back. Me personally, I don't care either. But just watch your back, bro. Just just watch your back. In the black rap music, every black rapper says it, right? That's fact. So it's kind of a rap that is music facts. thing. But then you get these white rappers that come in, and they avoid saying it in their music. But here's the thing: there has been multiple videos of proof of these famous white rappers saying it in their personal. Lives. Eminem has said it. You got a point. Post Malone has said it. Amen. You know, Google the video. There was a uh, old Snapchat video of Post Malone, and he was watching uh, a show called Too Cute with his friend, and they're sitting there recording themselves. Oh, I think it was a Vine video, actually. That's how old it was. And he goes, "Yeah, we watched Too Cute, nigga." <laughs> and like the media made such a big deal out of it at the time. This was back in like 2015, and I'm like. Who gives a shit? It's a word. The the more you um, put this gate around the word and, and act like only certain people can get inside this gate to say it, the more power you give to that word. Woo! I ain't fucking mad. Hold on. Hold on now. I, bro, I swear on everything I love. Oh my gosh, dog. Bro, he just said the most realest stuff ever. I kid y'all not. This is my first time. Watching this video to two minutes. I watched the beginning, so I already knew like what was going on. But th this is the first time that I watched the video to two minutes, bro. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect him to say that. Dog, this man just said some real stuff. Like the more you put this word in the gate, the more power you get to this word. Because let me be honest with y'all. Black people are hypocrites. Bro, y'all some freaking hypocrites. And I'm saying this and I'm black. You know why? Because y'all say, oh, oh, if a white person said N-word, I'm gonna knock them out. Woo, 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 woo. But then you say the N-word to your black friends all the time. It's just, bro, you can't be a hypocrite. Like, don't just put a gate around the white people not saying the word. Like, half the white people just say the word just to say the word. It's just a word, bro. And sometimes it sounds cool in sentences. You know what I'm saying? And like, what's up, my nigga? Like, it just sounds cool in the sentence. They not saying, they not saying to be racist towards you. They not saying none of that. And if y'all feel so offended by the word, because I don't understand how black people and the younger generation, all right? This generation, I don't know how y'all feel so offended by a word when y'all didn't even live through that time to know what that word really meant and, have, and know how much power that word held back then. Y'all didn't even live through that time. But for y'all to sit and blame or for y'all to sit and put this, put this word in like a gate 
and give it the and give it the power that it used to have is ridiculous, bro. It's honestly ridiculous. Cause let me be real with you. Y'all say, oh, I'm offended. That's offensive. That's this and that. That's this and that. If it was so offensive, why would y'all say the word in general? You know what I'm saying? If that word was so offensive, nobody would say it, bro. Nobody would say it. And so many white rappers and so many white people don't want to say the word because they feel like it offend black people, bro. That that does not offend black people, bro. I kid you not, it did not offend black people. They, it just get them a reason to beat you up, bro. It just get them a reason. It get them a reason to slap the dog mess out of you. That's the only reason, bro. And then they feel like they, they feel like white people shouldn't say it because they said it back then to, to our ancestors. But then why do you say it to your black friends? If it was so offensive, you wouldn't say it to another black person if it was so offensive. You don't see, you don't see your great great grandma saying it, do you? Okay? You don't see you don't see them saying it. Why do you have the right to say it because you're black? Bro, y'all get y'all put race on every single thing. Y'all put race on the N-word. Y'all put race on every single thing, bro. Every single thing y'all put race on, bro. It don't matter what race you are. Say the word. I don't care, bro. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter to me, bro. It's just a word at the end of the day. And so many rappers say it each and every day in their songs. Yeah, man, I'm on a black now. Bro, I can find a rap song right now. And I kid you not, in the first seconds of the song, he gonna say the N-word, bro. That that's just how that's just how it is. That's just how it is, bro. Who cares? It's a word, dog. It's a word. We in 2022, bro. We not sitting around getting whipped no more. I mean, maybe in some countries, but I know where we at right now, I'm not sitting around getting whipped. I don't have to be segregated from white people. I don't have to go to this bathroom and that bathroom. I don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? I go to the bathroom with a white person. I can use a urinal with the white. Well, I'm not going to use the exact same urinal with a white person. That's that's kind of fruity in the booty. But I'm talking about like, you know, two urinals and then you go this. Y'all get what I'm trying to say, bro. Okay. I'm not. You feel me? Like, <laughs> I love, I, I like this dude, okay? More of the story, I like this dude, bro. He's speaking some real facts and he don't give up. Freaking care about what none of y'all got to say. You know what I'm saying? He don't care. These white rappers don't want to get canceled. That's why, but y'all say to y'all every day to day life behind closed doors. Like, come on, man. And I don't know Yeet. I've never met Yeet. Um, maybe some guy, somebody watching this video has met him. Does he say it in his personal life? Because I'm, I'm going to give you guys the honest, raw truth here. When I was growing up in my neighborhood where I'm from, in Jacksonville, Florida, I don't live there anymore, but I, I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. And when I was growing up, all my white friends said nigga. Every freaking one of them. What's up, nigga? How you doing today, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like that, That's just how you talk. That's how exactly. you talk. Exactly. It's just, it's just language. And that's it. That's it. What's up, my nigga? Nigga. 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 Like, bro, it's just, it's just language. It's just language. It's like it's like I don't put a meaning behind that word. I really don't because guess what? I didn't live in a time where they used that word as uh they held that word to a higher power. I didn't live in that time, so I don't have the right to say like I know I know why they used that word back then. I know what that word meant back then. But right now we're in 2022, bro. Ain't nobody really thinking about this. Ain't nobody really thinking about using the, the N word for racism. Maybe some people are. Okay, some people are, and they deserve they deserve some. You feel me? But, but come on, bro. A random white person just coming up to you saying, "What's up, my nigga?" Like, bro, they not being racist toward. They not saying, "Hey, you, and you, yeah, with your, with your slaves." Like, bro, they not doing all that. You know what I'm saying? They just coming up. Hey, what's up, my nigga? And you, and you, bro, what you just say? Like, bro, you doing too much, dude. You really doing too much. Pipe down. Take a chill pill. Get your panties out a bunch. You know what I'm saying? And go sit on your grandma's toilet because you're doing a little too much, bro. You're doing a little too much. Simple as that. I, bro, that's uh, black people are so so much of hypocrites, bro, and they don't even see it. They're so much of a hypocrite, bro, and it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous, bro. So much of a hypocrite. You can't be a hypocrite, bro. You just cannot. <laughs> Man. And for the people that might say, "Oh, you wasn't raised around a lot of black people." Bro, y'all must not know. I was raised in, I was raised on the west side of Chicago. I was raised out west. And I was raised on the south side, bro. Come on, man. I was raised around a lot of black people. A lot of black people. You feel me? But the thing with me is that I'm not scared to speak up. I'm not scared to have a voice. You know what I'm saying? If my voice, if my voice get me killed, at least I know a lot of messages got out there. That's that's all I know. You know what I'm saying? And at least I know I plant that seed in a lot of people to have a lot of people think about the things that they say or the things that they do. That's all I know. At least I did the purpose that God has called me to do. Because God gave me a voice for a reason. I'm going to speak. I ain't going to hold back. You know what I'm saying? I tell black people this all the time. You know what I'm saying? When that whole Black Lives Matter thing was going around, bro, you know what I mean? Nah, a black it was mad at me? It don't matter. It don't matter to me. Be mad at me. Be whatever you want to do. <laughs> I've been raised around a whole bunch of black people. Hood people. Hood black people. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. <laughs>
and it is what it is. So, and I know a lot of these white rappers, like I said, Eminem has said it, Post Malone has said it, Stitches. I don't know if any of you guys know who Stitches is, but he had that Brick in Your Face song back in 2014, fire song. He says nigga all the time. And a lot of people got mad about it, but he just kept doing it. He didn't give a, he didn't give a fuck, you know what I mean? Uh, six nine. He's not black. He says it all the time. Um, exactly. Fat. Oh, let me guess, cause he's he's what six nine is Puerto Rican or something. You know they allow Mexicans and everybody else to say it, but when it comes to a white person, they don't want to say like, come on, man. Joe, he says it, and people get mad at him for saying it, but he still says it. So here's my question: is like, and I'm not saying Yeet specifically, but are are most white rappers scared to say it because they don't want to face backlash if they do? Um, Cause look, Nav, Nav, the Indian rapper, he used to say it too, and then he stopped saying it because people, a few people, made an article, a media article about it, got mad at him. I say, if you want to say it, say it. It's nigga. It's nothing. It means nothing. It's nigga. It's just a word. Who gives a shit? I mean, if, if bro, I love this man. I love him. I love him. I love him personally, bro. Protect this man at all costs. Now, I, I I say that with some scare in me. I say that with a little bit of fear in me because you're saying a word a little too much. Now, no, wait, me personally, I'm not feeling offended about it. Okay, let me get that out of the way. I'm not being a hypocrite. I'm not feeling offended about it. But I know how certain black people are. You know what I'm saying? I know how certain, but they see him at a gas station again, they might pop him. I, I know how certain black people are because they take that word so serious. You know what I'm saying? But then they'll go, they'll, they'll kill him, and then they'll go back and say, what's up, my nigga? What's up, my nigga? Like, bro, I'm... <laughs> It's sad, bro. This word is sad, bro. It really, it, it honestly is sad. If you say it, um, and you have a black friend and he gets upset about it, then you guys can have a discussion and you can just tell him, look, I just say it. It doesn't mean anything racist to me personally. So I'm just saying it because I don't care. It's just a word to me. And if you, he doesn't want you to still say it, then you got to decide. Do I still want to be friends with this guy? Or do I want to just not say it around him? And then you make that choice. But um, I remember Stitches had a song called, uh, the, the name of the song was called Fuck Nigga. And uh, I've seen you way too many fuck niggas. It was such a fire song. Look it up. There's a video for it. Bro, I love it, man. Where he, where he goes, uh, when I say I like white people, this is what I mean. This is what I mean, bro. This is the coolest white nigga I've ever. <laughs> I love this man. I love him. I love him, bro. I I love him, man. I love him. This is this is the type of people I like to be around. Now. You know, I try to change my the group of people I like to be around, but I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this is the person I would literally want to kick it. You know what I'm saying? And, and some people might want to have a beer with them. You know what I'm saying? Drink some whiskey with them. But me, I don't drink. So I, we could just, you know, we could just eat some Jolly Ranchers together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, I love this man. They told me stop saying nigga. You is a dumb nigga. Like basically ah! saying like how the media is like, why is this white guy saying nigga? And he's like, fuck you, I'm going to say it. You know what I mean? So, what? Um, like I said, if Yeet doesn't want to say it, then I totally respect that. Uh, I got no issue with that. But if he does say it around his boys and then he avoids purposely using using the word in his music, because I, I, I said in my Yeet video, I said that um, black people don't listen to Yeet. And a lot, what I meant was hood street guys. And a lot of people got upset about that. Um, but here's my question. If he did say nigga, do you think the hood would fuck with him more? Because they're like, oh, he relates to us. He talks like us. Because I, I feel like when white rappers avoid saying it, that's why a lot of black people can't re like relate to the music. Like if they heard like nigga and you were just talking normal, I think more hood dudes would talk, would, would mess with it. And then white guys would too because they're saying it to their boys. When I was in college, all the white dudes were saying it to each other. All the nerdy white guys, what's up, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like nobody gave a nobody gave a fuck. So, and I don't see any white YouTubers saying it. Like Bob Lamb, you know, shout out to Bob Lamb. I never heard him say it. Does he say it in his personal life? You'd have to ask him that. I'd I'd be willing to bet that he does, or around certain people. A lot of white people, they will only say it around people that are comfortable saying it around. Like when I'm when you're drunk, like what's up, my nigga? Bro, I haven't seen it in a while. You know what I mean? Like only, only certain people um, will. They say it around, so. I love this man, bro. Because um, they're, they're, they're trying to gauge, is this person gonna be cool with me saying it? Even though they say it, but they're just gauging the reaction. So what do you guys think? Do you think Yeet says it in his personal life? Should he say it in rap songs if he does use the word in his personal life? Are we giving too much power to that word? Should you just say nigga and not care about the ramifications? It's just a freaking word. You know what I mean? So anyway, guys, if you've never been here before, please subscribe, give me a like, let me know in the comments all your thoughts on this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bro.
first off, I'm going to say this. Uh, yes, people do put a gate around this word because the word don't ha the word don't hold power no more, bro. If you let a word hold power over you, bro, you honestly need help because come on now, dog. We in the year, like I said again, we are in the year 2022, bro. This word has no power. I don't care if a white person say the word because it's a word. And if I say it to my homeboys, who cares if a white person say it? We allow Mexicans to say it. We allow any other type of race say it. But when a white person say it, it's a whole issue. It's an issue. You know what I'm saying? It's an issue. And if you don't even bring back up slavery. Don't even bring back up that stuff because half of y'all didn't even live through that to really even understand and make it feel offensive. Now, I see if your great-grandparents was in a room and, you know, a white guy come in and start saying the N-word. That may make them feel some type of way because they probably lived through that. And they probably felt offended by that. But if you if you young, bro, you know what I'm saying? If you young, and not me young, I'm talking about young, bro. If you was if you didn't even live through slavery, uh slavery, bro, and you young, bro, that word don't that word don't offend you. You just be talking. You just talk. You are you you bark a lot. You know what I'm saying? You bark but don't bite. Come on, man. That word don't offend you, bro. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, man. Shout out to this guy right here. All right, shout out to this man. What's his name? Um, yeah, I'm not saying that name, bro. That name is Asher Jacks, bro. Anyways, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.